In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to focus on structured programming, within which we will also study top-down analysis, modular programming and structured code. Let's start with structured programming first. It is a programming style which aims to improve the quality, clarity, development time of programs by making use of block structures. It is a better way to program as it involves systematic organization of programs. It aims at removing the use of go-to statements in programs as its frequent use leads to spaghetti code, which leads to inefficient code which is difficult to follow and maintain. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Structured programming involves three phases, namely 1. Top-down analysis 2. Modular programming 3. Structured code Firstly, let's consider top-down analysis. As programs are written to provide a solution to any type of problem. For larger problems, developing a programmatic solution can be complicated. We might think, where to start from? How to proceed? Where to terminate? Top-down analysis is a method of problem solving and analysis. The approach is to subdivide the program into smaller tasks for easing the analysis. The ideas followed are Subdivision of program which means that the entire problem is broken down into smaller parts so that it can be analyzed and an appropriate solution can be devised for it. Hierarchy of task means that subdivided parts of the major problem are further broken into tasks, thus creating a hierarchy. Advantages of top-down analysis is Reduces the complexity of problem solving Not limited by a particular type of program Steps for top-down analysis Step 1 is to define the complete scope of problem to be solved. It includes the determination of Input What data to be processed Process What to do on the input data What type of processing is needed to be done Output What information should the program produce Step 2 is the division of problem into separate parts. Step 3 is defining the scope of each subdivided parts and dividing them further into tasks. Step 4. Repeat step 3 till a simple task is reached which cannot be further subdivided. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Moving on to modular programming. It is a program designing style where the program is broken into smaller independent units called as modules and each module is developed independent of each other. Each module accomplishes one function and contains all the source code and variables needed to accomplish that function. A module has entry point to which the control is transferred from outside. The module there is only one exit point from which the control is returned back to the calling function. Modular programming is a solution to the problem of very large programs that are difficult to debug and maintain. So what's the advantage of doing modular programming? Complex program is divided into smaller elements which are more manageable. Multiple programmers can code various modules simultaneously, thus saving production time. It leads to reusable code which can be used in other programs too. Debugging and finding errors is easy. Moving on to the last phase which is developing a structured code. Many old languages which use go-to statements have unstructured code as the control of the program is altered unconditionally. Go-to can be replaced by if, if else, else if, ladder to write the code in a structured manner which is termed as structured coding. It aims at producing well-organized code by making use of control transfer statements and not go-to. Usually, small programs do not have logic which involves altering of the normal flow of program. But, in larger programs, there is a need to alter the normal flow of execution. This alteration is done with the use of control transfer statements like if, switch case, loops like for, while, do while. Lastly, let's learn the advantages of structured programming. It improves the problem solving process. Better organization of program, generalized programming methodology, clear description of data and structure, enables development of programs which are easily modifiable and documentable. Let's have a quick review of what we've studied in this lecture. 
We started with structured programming, which is a programming style which aims to improve the quality, clarity and development time of programs by making use of block structures. Structured programming involves three phases namely 1. Top-down analysis 2. Modular programming 3. Structured code Top-down analysis is an approach which subdivides the program into smaller tasks for easing problem-solving process. Modular programming is a program designing style where the program is broken into smaller independent units called as modules. Structured coding aims at producing well-organized code by making use of control transfer statements and not go-to.